Let it begin. The feeling is definitely there. It's a new morning in America. Fresh, vital. The old cynicism is gone. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, one of the things I've been concerned about in the budget are the way that small businessmen are going to be affected uh, by the tax increases. They, they talk about it being over $250,000 in revenue. Gillette, Wyoming, that started a restaurant. It was very successful. They've expanded it out to eight restaurants, and I went to their newest restaurant. Holograph deterioration. Holograph deterioration. One of the people that started it, he said, uh, you know, we started this with $2,000 in our pocket. We now have eight restaurants and we still only have $2,000 in our pocket. businessman from Montana had mentioned to me the need for $5,000 per new employee in order to be able to expand their business and I, I appreciate uh, particularly that that number being in there. There are a bunch of complications that I'll work with you on to be sure that we're expanding. need to expedite the way that they get that and uh, uh, the 30 billion in, in small business lending that you mentioned SBA, because the SBA has some requirements about showing that you can't get money before you can get money, and uh, it takes a long time to go through the process because they don't have enough money to begin with, so they're trying to get the money to the people that need it the most, but uh, in the meantime, that kind of stifles the economy. So is there a way to get that through the banks instead? Mm -hmm. 
Um, let me just start where you ended, and I want to come back to the beginning. Uh, we're proposing both to expand what the SBA can do by raising the loan limits, lowering the guarantee fee. working very hard to make sure that she reduces, streamlines, streamlines the requirements in those programs without leaving the taxpayer more, more exposed to risk. make sure we're helping community banks too. So the $30 billion uh, program the President referred to is to take $30 billion of repayments we've gotten. Put those aside to help make available to help community banks that are committing to support small business lending. You're proposing eliminating any tax preferences for the oil and gas industry and for the coal industry. And uh, that will cost jobs in places like Wyoming, and it will increase the taxes on the oil and gas industry and on the coal industry, and those will be passed on to. bills and, and at the pump. Um, so I'm kind of curious as to how we're going to increase the taxes on those industries and keep it from being a hit. Related to that, there's also uh, an abandoned mine land tax that the president's talking about uh, eliminating. That's actually a law that was passed. It wasn't an appropriation, and that was uh, one crafted by Senator Bacchus and I and, and others um, that was... which for 30 years had promised that those states that received it would be paid back that money. It was kept in the trust fund, and what we've done is release that.
money. In exchange, we got the companies to agree to extend the tax. We got the uh, unions uh, pleased that we were able to take care of orphan minors. Um, all of those things plus... if we eliminate those those payments. So I, I hope we'll take another look at that. set of subsidies that now go to the oil and gas and coal industry. significant resources over time. We're doing that not only for the reason that we think it's part of being fiscally responsible. think we need to eliminate subsidies in the system that go to um, objectives that conflict with our broader effort to try to improve energy efficiency. carbon emissions, but uh, recognize they'll be difficult. We don't think they're going to have any effect on prices. Uh, we don't think they will. Uh, people may disagree about that, and they've been carefully designed in that sense, but why I understand that's going to be difficult and hard, um, and we'd be happy to work with you, uh, particularly on your concerns about the way the... Secretary, and I, I share that concern on that program with the Senator Anzi. I hope we can work that out. Sir Carpenter, you know. How long have they been there? Who knows? 
Wait, what are they? Where did they come from? No, they ain't from Cleveland. Look, man, I don't need that kind of shit. What are we gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna wait. Wait, wait for what? You know, I really answered my fucking question. Well, when you get some kind of master plan, you let me know, huh?